this lab, this is going to be your ramp. Ramp goes down a long length of the table, and you too have your own boulder. There's your boulder, right there, that little guy. Yeah, that's your boulder. And you'll also have a large tin cup. The tin cup will eventually be your target, but that's going to stay on the lab table until later. During this lab, you're going to be changing the height of the ramp. The lab is specific about what heights you use, and you're going to be marking that crossbar at those heights. You'll adjust it a few times during the course of this lab. You will use a meter stick to measure the heights, and you are measuring to the top of the ramp at the crossbar. The ramp needs to be positioned properly on the table. If the ramp is too close to the end of the table, the ball will roll down, you totally miss the table itself. That means it's going to roll down at an angle. You want the ball to fly off as horizontally as possible, which means you want to shift the ramp back a little bit, and you'll hear the ball actually hit the table to get to the bottom. If it hits it, then you've got a good setting. You'll need to know how fast the ball is rolling when it leaves the table. For that, you're looking at the average velocity compared to the final velocity. The ball is going to roll down the ramp. You know the distance, you know the time. You're looking for that average velocity, but from there, you need to get the final velocity. Think about the calculation you're going to use to do that. So now you've done a couple of trials. You've figured out your velocity for the ball leaving the ramp. Well, now you're going to figure out how long is it going to take that ball to reach the tabletop down to your target. Think about what your target is. How are you going to get that distance? Obviously, a meter stick. The distance to your target. Once you have that distance, then you can get the time. And that's your next step for the projectile. Once you know the time it takes the ball to follow the target, and how much velocity it's got going sideways. Now you can finally place that bucket, that target, down at the floor level. Now you can actually do your test to see if you hit your target. You might be a little short, in which case, figure out your percent error. Maybe you're going to be right on target, but it knocks the can over. Maybe it'll hit the target, and bounce right out again. Or maybe you'll have that perfect shot. It'll go in. And it'll stay in, and your crowd will cheer. Now, I haven't exactly told you exactly which formulas to use to do this lab, but I have asked the right questions. So now you can look up which equations you need, and then walk into that lab ready to go. How you know you've got the right equations? You're going to answer the questions below. Good luck.